Have you ever been hurt from a prank? Yeah, I uh, I put my hand through a glass window one time and sliced up my fingers. I uh, <clears throat> I didn't know when I started doing stunts that stunt performers wear pads and crash <laughs> into padding. So I would just like run, launch off the desk, fly through a shelf, and land on the concrete of the studio floor and just like rock myself. I remember like interviewing Vivica Fox, I jumped up on my desk ass first with both legs in the air and came down on my tailbone. And it sent this like shock wave up my spine. And the rest of like the year I was walking around like the hunchback yeah. in Notre Dame. Like my spine like seized up, like, and, and it was like scoliosis shaped, like Elephant Man fucking. So I was like, oh, right. oh, oh, and it didn't, it didn't unseize for like a long time. It was I should have gone to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone to the doctor. But uh, yeah, have you hurt yourself wrestling? You must. have. Just well, yeah, yourself, I mean, all, right? yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more controlled. But like you said, we we do know how to you know, fall in the right places to, to minimize the pain. I did yeah. fall on a, I did fall on a ladder once and bruise my cossacks, which is right at the end of the tailbone. So it's not, it's, it's this little part of the tailbone that's uh, at the end of the actual tailbone. During a match or while you were? Yeah, during, no, no, during, during a match, during a match, during a match. And when I went and to the, I went to the doctor and he said, you have a bruised cossacks bone. And I'm like, what can I do? Because what do you want me to do? Put a cast on it? Like there's nothing you can do. Yeah. You know, he just Tony Hawk. Him. Tony Hawk broke his pelvis, and he's like, "There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you just have to be in misery." For just, a year. Yeah, just deal with it. <laughs> Sit on a donut type of a thing. I, I was remembering too, as we're talking, like like you mentioned jumping up on your desk. I remember even your your studio was such like a scummy little shitty little studio. I <laughs> just so walking gross. up like this is so gross. Exactly, the carpet yeah. was all worn. It just that was a uh, great part of the whole situation we, too. We had a big chunk of carpet one time. We sprayed all this fake blood all over for a sketch. <laughs> and the, 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 the fake blood, I think, had sugar in it or something. So we, we rolled up the carpet, we threw it out, it started smelling. Rolled up the carpet, we threw it out in the dumpster. The next week, we were like, we got it. We were out of, we were always running out of money. So we're like, we need that carpet back. <laughs> and my art department dude, Nick, went to go grab it and he unfurled the carpet. And it was like Joe's apartment, like millions of cockroaches were just oh. like, <laughs> <laughs> Infestation. He said it was like a cockroach colony and emerged. Wait, so you bruised your cossack? What did you do? How deep were you done with the match at that point, or did you have to continue wrestling? I had to continue because it was a ladder match, so I kind of fell on it. But yeah, it, you know, and, and you know how that is too. I'm sure it's the same when you're filming. You've got adrenaline, adrenaline, yeah, you know, yeah, on yeah. Camera, it's live. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. as soon as it was done, the next morning it was like you know. Get me a oh. pair of crutches so I can walk. It was, it was oh, pretty bad. God. I mean, one time, this was recent. I'm doing it um, like a live version of my show. Uh, I'm touring. Right. I, I jumped off, say, I just turned 40 in April. So it was a very, this is 40 moment. I jumped off stage. The crowd parted. Oh, no. I thought, I thought they were going to catch me. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm not fucking catching you, old man. <laughs> They parted and I went right down on my shoulder blade, right on the concrete floor. Boom. And then same thing, my like shoulder blade like seized up. And it was like the first 10 seconds of the show. The rest of the show, I had to like <laughs> yeah, walk yeah. around like a chicken wing and like, uh, and then as soon as I was done and the adrenaline wore, wore off, like an hour later after I got off stage, fuck, I thought I broke a rib. It was like, it hurt to breathe. It hurt to laugh. It hurt when I coughed or sneezed. It sucked. Well, and it's, 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 so it's what you're saying, this is that the explosion tour that you're doing, it's kind of yeah. like, so you do a live version of the, of the Eric Andre show. Like what exactly yeah. do you do on is it stand up? Is it yeah, no, I, inter I, I destroy the whole stage. I interview people. I bring people out of the crowd and I interview them. I, I bring like a big, I get like a big jolly boy up on stage and I hook him up to this Janet Jackson sex X sex swing thing. And I like tweak his nips and I like, uh, jerk them off into the crowd. <laughs> it's like a guar concert. <laughs> and I'll, I'll find like the local celebrity in each town and interview them on stage, whether it's like a rapper or like a weatherman, whatever. Uh, we show videos, we show, uh, it's just a mess. I make people, like we had this guy in Grand Rapids, I made him 
he's that guy on TikTok. He has like a huge ass. He's a skateboarder. He's got, his name is uh, Frankie. And I made him chug like four Red Bulls, four beers, four coffees, and like something else. Oh, hot sauce, all oh, back geez. to back, all in one go. <laughs> and he started like vomiting on stage. And I made him crowd surf. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. It seems like it's it's a, it's a lot of improv. You, you seem pretty. It's fearless. actually it's actually like the TV show where it's like very controlled chaos. It's like. I have a ton of bits written and ready to go, but we improv within, within gotcha. the, the, the thing, you know? So it's like some, it's like carrot top meets Gallagher meets Gigi Allen, I think is the, the comp for the show. V- very aptly, uh, great influences there. Yeah. 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 Gigi Allen, man. Uh, what a, what, what a, what an influence he was for sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He had a bit of a Terry Funk. Mark yeah, no kidding. Yeah, totally. Match kind yeah, of thing. No, he no, had no. that mentality for sure as well, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was a human monster. He was an absolute. He would shit on stage and like throw his poop, eat it, and like throw yeah. his poop at you and like break bottles over his face and stuff. What a nightmare sociopath. Yeah, I remember I, I, somebody had a documentary of him or some kind of home. Todd movie. Phillips. Todd the, Phillips. Wow, he did that. Todd Phillips dropped out of NYU film school when he was like 19 years old to follow G.G. Allen around for a year with a camera. And he wow. made that. That was, that was his first magnum opus. Yeah, that's how he started. We, and now he's you know, like multi-millionaire from three hangover movies and, and everything else. But that's what that was his start. It's pretty crazy. You can tell like he was like, you could tell 19-year-old Todd Phillips was like, who is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> what does yeah, he yeah. do? Right, right, Where right. is he? He's also in the East Village. He's also in downtown New York. I get, well, okay, see, grab as many cameras as anybody you will let me borrow. And just follow this maniac around for you. We did a, a show in Savannah. For some reason, it was Fozzy, which is my band, and the Murder Junkies, which was oh, Gigi boy. Allen's band. But he, yeah. obviously, Gigi's not with us anymore. And his brother Merle, and it was the worst kind of booking ever. Like these two bands together. I remember we played in front of like fifty Nazi punks who weren't having our oh, heavy no. metal madness in the least. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> Guys are gnarly, <laughs> top gnarliness. 